What's up guys? This is Chris with Always Upgrading RC doing a quick room tour. I want to show you guys what I have as far as my uh, Lego sets and Gundam uh, models and whatnot. Um, leave some comments below. I'm going to go into my review of my Red 5 X-Wing Ultimate Collector Series right there. Also my Naboo Starfighter UCS and my Y-Wing UCS and uh, Look for those in the next couple weeks. Work's been a little crazy lately. So this is my glass case right there. And I'll go into each section. Uh, up here is my uh, TIE Fighter, uh, TIE Advanced UCS. That is a Lepin set. This is a uh, Lego set. Uh, Red 5 X-Wing Fighter UCS in the cases right here I have all of my Gundams there's my gold unicorn with the blue uh, skeleton and all of these if you want any reviews on specific ones let me know I've won contests with my models um, I've really taken a lot of time there's my little uh, Terminator from GameStop. I forgot the name of the cup that puts that out. But it's my little Terminator guy, and there's my Terminator bobblehead. I think it's cool. That's a badass Gundam. That's a, um, I believe it was a uh, double, double something gun edition. And my favorite Gundam is Gundam Wing Zero from the Gundam Wing series from Endless Waltz. There's my hand-painted Claptrap. And there's the Gundam in the back with the wings of light. You can kind of see them. Now what you can't see is I use metallic paints on all the joints and I, use all, I add metal rivets to everything and I really take my time. This was the first guy I ever did. And he's still holding up. And what's funny is after I started the hobby and I was doing it for a few months, I went back to him and I kind of redid everything I learned. There's my Death Scythe. Badass. That guy in the middle, they actually have a life-size one of those over in Japan. And down there, I have some Strikers. Most of my Gundam are real grade, the 144th scale. This was a no scale Gundam. I just got it because I love the Gatling gun that he came with. And I said, when I go into um, a full review, I go, I'll go into more detail. There's my other Death Scythe with the uh, Luminescent uh, Scythe and Shield mod. And the base, while well, my bases are painted. This guy is cool. That guy is bad. He is a bad motherfucker. Now, also in here, you'll see my Metal Earth models. There's Kylo Ren's fighter. There's my unicorn in the back chilling out. There is my Titan right there. That's a bad dude right there. That came out super. And they're only about... Seven inches, six inches tall. A lot of detail, though. And there's my geode. And there's my little lunar Mars rover guy right there. Another little metal Earth project. Coming up to this bay. Now, before I get to this bay, I'm going to let you all know. I love old school toys. And when I find them, I collect them. So there's Grandma from the Real Ghostbusters. That's what's up. There's my snow speeder. Millennium Falcon, Imperial Star Destroyer, Lambda Clash uh, Shuttle. There's another, there's a Mars Rover, and there's my X-Wing. And this is the first Gundam, I guess you would call it a perfect grade that I received from my sister for my 33rd birthday, I think it was, or 34th. I'm going to be 40, so about six years ago. Now, all the gold is supposed to be yellow, 
but I took a liquid gold pen and I thought it came out great with the gold. The panel lining was a pain in the ass because, again, this was one of the first perfect grades that they came out with. And it's not like the perfect grades of today. The lines weren't cut as deep. The molds weren't as nice. The releases weren't as nice, not as clean, but still, it's an amazing piece. The chest lights up. The eyes light up, the, the unicorn antenna lights up, and it transforms into a Thunderbird. Now, coming up to the top shelf, there is my Big Bang Theory Lego set. Let's fix Toad right here. I like Toad. There is my Yahtzee Claptrap guy. Anyone looking for a nice Claptrap figure? It's about eight inches tall, fully painted, but it's a Yahtzee set. You'd never, you'd never know what to look at it, but it's a really, really nice claptrap. And the cool thing was, I got it for like six bucks. It was right after Christmas. There's some of my gaming stuff, some of my imported stuff, and there is Gundam Wing sitting down there. There's my little slime. What up? There's my BB-8 mug. A lot of memories of that BB-8 mug, man. A lot of coffee getting me through the mornings with him. Now I'm gonna kind of pan over. This is my first, this is one of my Pride and Joy models right here. This is my red ashtray. I probably got about 120, 130 hours on him. And I'll just give you a quick, quick panoram. Quick overview of him. I did some weathering, I did some riveting. Everything was primed, painted, matte cleared. There's the ghost thing on the sword. I am going to go back and do a black wash with the hilt and really bring in all that detail. But he came out wonderfully. That was my first perfect grade. Instead of doing black, I did like an anthracite on the feet this is my guy right here this is the one that when people come in the house and they see this guy they're amazed this is uh, this is about 210 hours this is not the pearlescent paint job this is straight up matte white weathered on the wings I have riveted the hell out of him I actually added screws and rivets to everything all of his joints are metal. This is a bad dude right here. There's the Gatling guns up there. And he's just, I mean, this is my hand. You can see how big he is. I'm 6'1", 265, 270, depending on how much water I'm holding. Um, on my routines but uh, he's a big dude he's probably a good wings full spread two feet two feet and change wide and he's over a foot tall coming down here to my y-wing UCS it is a Lego UCS I'll get into that at another time there's my Ghostbuster Lego set Going to pan over to my little land speeder right there. This was a great little build. And let me know in the comments which ones you want me to review. I just don't want to put videos up to put videos up. I want you guys to really, you know, enjoy what I'm putting up there. And, you know, it's your time. There's my Definitive Technology Center channel, Pro Cinema 1. There is my Rebel Transport. And the new Snow Speeder that didn't quite make it into the movie. There is my Denon AVR 791, 7.1 channel surround sound theater. It's 95 watts by 7 channels. There is my retro Wii. I still like the Wii, it's still bad. There is Poe's X-Wing Fighter. And that is a Lego set. An Xbox One. Fat PS3 with a terabyte hard drive. Now these bad boys, listen, if y'all know home theaters... You guys know what energy is all about. You ready? Energy CF70 tower speakers. One inch titanium fluid filled tweeter. Then I have 
a four inch woofer and two six inch woofers. It is a stupid tower speaker set. It is nuts. When you play Borderlands on here, when you watch a Blu-ray, it's stupid. Going over here. Now I do have an, uh, an RC channel. There's my bandit chilling out. And there's my Creighton right there hanging out. Going up here, there's my Leppin clone turbo tank. And down here, I have an Imperial ship. I forgot the name of it. I apologize. And that is the Scavenger, both Lego. In the back, I have the AT-AT Lego set. I have Leppin's set of Krennic's shuttle. And I have K2SO in the back, which is a Lego set on sale at Walgreens for eight bucks. Couldn't beat it. There are all my gaming guides. Now, check it out. Final Fantasy 12 guide right here. This guy, plastic's off. It's in perfect condition. I was at GameStop like six months ago. They had an inventory. Came right out of the back. Eight dollars. Eight bucks for Final Fantasy 12. Full guide. It might prove useful. They're coming out with the new Zodiac Age game, so we'll see. And there is some more of my guides. In the back, I decided to go with Yamaha uh, Surrounds. Now, you notice that space right there. Subwoofer used to be there. These guys put out enough base that I don't need a sub. My blinds right here will shake back and forth. I mean, like that. When I'm watching a movie, if you're watching, like, let's say Armageddon, and they're taking off in the shuttles, this room will just... Actually, my dining room will shake. This room will shake. These speakers are just nuts. It, it, they're, they're incredible. So, there is my 65-inch 4K. That's where all the magic happens in this room. There's my little Naboo Starship. There you go. What's up, Naboo? How you doing? So that's my room, guys. That's where I dis this is where I display all my stuff. Um, I will go into reviews on my Gundams. If you'd like me to go into techniques on how I build them, I will be happy to do that. Um, I, I, I'll look forward to that. I, I really enjoy doing that. And by the way, that's a Kubrick. I just remembered Kubrick. Um... I really like doing these videos, but I want to make sure it's what you guys want to see. I just don't want to put videos up to get hits. And, you know, I'm not in it to make money. I'm in it to to show you guys what what you can do or show you guys what's, you know, what's possible with hobbies and whatnot. I, it's, it's a lot of this stuff brings me a lot of joy. And, you know, it feels good when you create something like this out of just a bunch of plastic sprues and... You know, you really put your time and effort into it. So, that is my gaming room and my hobby room. Please leave some comments below. And let me know what you'd like to see reviewed. And I look forward to posting some new videos in the next couple, in the next couple of weeks. Guys, thank you very much for your support. Your comments have been amazing. Um, and yes, I'll still be doing Lep interviews. I'll be doing Lego reviews. Um, I'll get back to my RCs. And I have to get a battery for the Creighton. I didn't charge my Venom 6S battery. And wouldn't you know it, the thing took a dump on me. So I got to get a battery for that bad boy. And I just spring cleaned the bandit up real nice. She's looking good. Got new rubber on her. Got some new oil in the shop. Just greased everything up. Took the tranny apart. Redid that. And we're in good shape. Thank you again, guys. And I look forward to talking to you in the next couple weeks. Take it easy.